cup of tea here and let's just look and see what our competition's doing over here. This guy, as you can see, hasn't even started yet. He, I think he's quite confused, whereas this cup here is already turned gold. And again, you can actually taste the contents of what's in that uh, cup there. All right, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna come back to the cherry tomatoes. And over here again, this is the water that we actually poured, uh, the cup that we poured the Aquafina in. And let's just take a look at what happens. And keep in mind, the water went in clear and just let's just see what actually happens. And as you can see, the water is coming out clear. So in reality, did we take anything or remove anything from these tomatoes? And I think we'd all agree the answer is no. Now on the flip side of that, over here are, are the same cherry tomatoes out of the same bag. And the only difference being is we washed or, or we soaked these tomatoes with strong congen water, the water again that has the pH of 11.5. And let's look to see what actually comes off of these tomatoes. Now, this is pretty amazing, okay? And this is not chlorine. Remember, our machines remove all the chlorine from the water. What you got here are things like herbicides, pesticides, insecticides, and even oxidation that's coming off of these tomatoes. And th the significance of that is now you've got produce, fruits and vegetables that actually taste like they were grown in your very own garden without the herbicides and the pesticides. As a matter of fact, this is probably as close to organic as you can come and so they taste much better and actually when you wash your produce wash your fruits and your vegetables with this water it will actually last you many many days longer than if you were to wash it with tap water what we like to do here is we also wanted to show you a little simple demonstration with rice and again keep in mind one of the benefits of congen water is the fact that you can actually cook with it as well. So let's look to see what happens. We're gonna take tap water here and we're gonna take some rice and we're gonna give this a stir and see what happens. And as you can see, we've got a little cloudiness in the water so we're removing a little bit of, of stuff from the rice. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the same rice and here we're gonna take strong congen water again, the water that has the amazing cleaning powers, and watch what happens here. As you can see, almost instantly, the difference in the color. So as you can see here, what we've done is we've removed the pesticides from this rice. We've removed things like talc and all kinds of other things that actually is on the rice. And so not only is it gonna be much cleaner, but again, it actually tastes much better, it cooks much faster, so the rices, the pastas are much fluffier and much better overall. Now the last demonstration I'd like to take you through is something with pure sesame oil. And in chemistry class, we've been taught that oil and water don't mix, okay? And that's what we would all you know, think about. So let's just take some pure sesame oil here, we're gonna pour it in this cup, and we're gonna also pour it in the cup right next to it. And what we're going to do here is we're going to actually take some regular water, or let's just take some Dasani water here, and we're going to pour it over here. And as you will shortly see, as we would think, the oil and the water don't mix and that the oil is going to actually surface to the top. At least that's what we were led to believe. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take the strong congen water, and I remember nine months ago as I saw this demonstration, I about fell out of my chair. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to take that same oil, and as you'll see, from the moment this water hits that oil, look at what we've done here, you guys. We've just emulsified 100% pure sesame oil with water. Water that carries a pH of 11.5, and this is the water, again, that's got the amazing cleansing or detergent-like properties that has many, many uses and applications in your home. And keep in mind, in, in doing all of these different demos, what have we done? We've taken ordinary tap water, and with the touch of a button, we've made five different grades of water. And again, by far and away, the most important of the waters is the congen water that you're going to drink and hydrate your body with. But as you can see, we make other waters and that have other uses and applications uh, along with them. As you can see, this remarkable technology 
takes ordinary tap water and at the touch of a button makes five different grades of water. And I hope that you learned something from this demonstration. It's a very similar demonstration that I saw nine months ago that has literally changed my life. So what you want to do now is get back to the person that shared this information with you and learn how you and your family can start benefiting from Kangen water today. Wasn't that demonstration awesome? As a matter of fact, I think back nine months ago as I sat through my first demonstration, that's what did it for me. After sitting through that demonstration, I was just blown away on some of the properties of this water and what it had to offer for me and my family. And it was enough for me to invest in this technology. And as you all heard me talk about at the beginning of this presentation, this water has changed my life in every way, shape, and form. Now, in closing this part of the presentation out, here's one other book I'd like to refer you to. It's entitled The PH Miracle. And again, this book is written by the world-renowned microbiologist, Dr. Robert Young. But think about what he says in this book. When the fish are sick, change the water. And, and also, I mean, if you happen to have an aquarium at home, instinctively we know as the fish start to get sick, what do we do? We change the water. Change the water, change your life. That's exactly what we're recommending that you do here. Now, to achieve and maintain good health, it requires four pieces to the puzzle. And I think we all understand the importance of oxygen. We all know three minutes without oxygen, we're done. Hydration, we talked about that. I think we built a case as to why you want to alkalize your body and the health benefits of that. And then the other piece to that puzzle is nutrition. Now, in talking and working with many healthcare practitioners on the holistic side, naturopathic doctors, chiropractors, and whatnot, they all believe that this water, what's interesting about this water is the fact that it actually addresses the first three pieces to that puzzle, that being oxygen, oxygenating, hydrating, and alkalizing. The only thing that it doesn't do is address nutrition, uh, uh, literally. However, if you're taking vitamins or if you're, as you're eating your foods, you're going to get much more nutritional benefit from those vitamins and those supplements and those minerals along with your food by ridding your body of the acid waste. And there again, that's where this technology or where this water comes into play. Now, back from Chicago where I'm from, this is our local hero, Dr. Tobias. Dr. Tobias 